Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is part two of a video regarding upgrading my mesh system. Uh, in this episode I'll be just covering the Ubiquiti Amplify Instant Router. Yes it is a router but you can configure it as a mesh point. I'm going to be using this against the main um, Amplify HD router that I covered in part one. This one is just basically adding this to the system and if you were going to use this on its own you just follow the principles shown in the first video but swap the routers for this one otherwise it's exactly the same setup. So I'll have a look at the unboxing and then we'll set this up. So we'll have a look at the Amplify Instant. This is a lower spec version of their main HD router. It's still a router but it comes as part of a, a lower end package. Um, the main difference is as well, you only have the one Ethernet and then one Internet port. So again, nice little box. Feels very Apple-esque. And once again, we have a nice small box that you're not going to be too worried about having on display. It has the light in the base again. As I mentioned earlier, one Ethernet, which you could just run straight to a switch if you wanted. Uh, and then your internet feed, or if you're going to run via wire, uh, sorry, via Ethernet backhaul, that will be your backhaul connector for this unit. Little touch screen display on the front again, and the box. Cable there, flat cable, flat Ethernet cable, and power supply. This one is supposed to be a very simple system to set up, as you can see, it's just basically it's a standard code, download the app connect and that's it I won't actually be using this one as a router it's going to be set up as a mesh point but you can set this up as a router in fact the Amplify Instant can be bought as a package where you actually get a, a mesh point with it but you can't buy the mesh point on its own which is why I just decided to buy one of the routers I mean the router was to be honest it was cheap it was £79 um, and you can connect that up as a mesh point to the Amplify HD. As I'm using this one as a mesh point, all you need to do is power it up and then go to the app. But you can use it as a router, just like on the Instant HD. So you just open up the app, and it should detect the new mesh point. It may prompt you to do a software update, if so just follow the instructions, it's straightforward, let it reboot uh, and then log in and just give it a name. I've called it workshop because that's where it's going to end up going at the moment, it's at the back of the house. You can call it anything you want, it's just so you can identify it if you've got more than one of these mesh points. Very simple to do. One of the nice features about Ubiquiti is it allows you to do a Ethernet backbone. That basically means connecting a Ethernet cable between your main router and the mesh device. That way then they're using the Ethernet cable to communicate to each other. They're not actually using the Wi-Fi. So it saves you some bandwidth on the Wi-Fi for using other devices. That's a really nice feature. And to do that, it's just simply a case of going to the app and move a slider to turn it on once you've connected the cable. And it will do everything for you. In terms of the performance I've had out of this, I can't fault it. You can do pretty much everything you need. The ISP test, it comes back as pretty much what I should be getting. I'm on Virgin Media 200. It does vary during the day what you get. Some points you can get over 200, at some points it's a little bit less. But the minimum they're supposed to give you is 150, and I've never had below that. Compared that to BT Infinity, which I was using before this, I was getting around 30, 35 megabits, and I should have been getting three times that. So Virgin so far has been quite good. It also shows you all your connected devices, as you can see we've got quite a few that are connected. Uh, you can disable all those or single ones if you want, no problem at all. All in all a really easy to use app. So the unit itself is quite small and compact, it's a nice looking little thing. Uh, it just shows the time normally when you're not doing anything with it. The front's touch screen so you can scroll through the statuses, the signal strength etc, what the ports are doing if you've got anything connected. Um, it's a very nice little unit and you're not really going to notice it sat on a windowsill. So the system's been up and running about a month now. Um, I've had no problems at all with it. Everything's worked fine as it should. 
all my Wi-Fi devices have connected and stay connected. They've not they've not had any issues. All the Alexas in the house, uh, the Echo shows, uh, robot vacuum cleaner, tablets, phones, etc. Wi uh, Sky boxes, um, Synology systems, even though they're hardwired, everything's been fine. I I honestly can't fault the system. It's a little bit pricey. It costs just under two hundred pound for the main HD router and the secondary instant router, which I'm using as a node. The packs, though, if you buy them with the plug-in mesh points, they're, they're about three hundred, three hundred fifty pound anyway. So uh, depends which way you look at it. The advantages on these systems, you can run a Ethernet cable between them, so they don't have to use the wireless backhaul. That means you can move them further apart without losing signal. Um, at the moment, I'm pretty much on the boundary of the signal which the two will work on, around about thirty, thirty-five percent, and that is probably well it's about it's three rooms so it's probably about 10 15 meters something like that so it won't the routers at the front of the house um in the hallway and the the mesh points right at the back in an extension which is near the garage which I use as a workshop so yeah all in all i, I can't fault them but they work fine the app's nice and stable i've not seen any bugs in it um the speed tests come back as pretty much what i'm getting in any way directly from the the modem so all in all, I recommend it. And if you're looking for a, a mesh system at a reasonable price, it's easy to use and configure with lots of features, but isn't daunting to use, go for it. So I hope you found that useful. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing and liking this video, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching and see you soon.